Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be following up an episode we've done in the past regarding flashing garble onto an Arduino Uno for a CNC control. In this case, though, as part of this series, what we're doing is replacing the control module of the eBay K40 CO2 laser with a Arduino Uno and a CNC shield, and we're going to use garble as a software to power that. So also wanted to revisit this because we're going to have to make a couple changes to the garble code, some simple ones, and I'm going to show you how to do that, as well as kind of uh, refresh how it gets downloaded and added to the Arduino IDE, because that always seems to be an interesting uh, part of, of how it all goes together. So the first thing we're going to do is find this green button and clone or download, and then we're going to click download zip, and then we're going to navigate to a landing folder, which we've already created. Uh, on the network share here and then we're going to click save and it's a pretty quick download only about 369 KB and so um, it's downloading here so now it's finished and then what we're going to do is show in folder and then up here you see we have uh, the garble master zip so now what we're going to do is extract all into place now this will take a second or two shouldn't be too long to extract the files and uh, once they're done we're going to look inside the file structure for a particular file uh, called configuration H which we need to make a modification to so what we're what we're going to do is we're going to go to um, let's bring up notepad plus plus so I'm going to bring up notepad plus plus and then I'm going to move it over here because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the garble subdirectory and then here we have configuration H and I'm just going to drag it over here. So now what we're looking for is the variable spindle and you should find this around line 247. Um, so here we go define variable spindle. Now you might be saying why are we making this change? So the object behind this change is is we want to switch Swip. Ah, that's not even a word. We want to switch pins D11 and D12 back um, because we don't need the variable pulse width modulation. And if we kept it, we would again have to kind of go back to using pins D11 and we would also have to send an S command too. So it just makes it cleaner for the, this implementation if we just comment it out. And all we have to do is put a couple lines in it now. Now we save this and we are done. So I'm gonna I'm going to just minimize this. Uh, I'm gonna minimize this, and then what I'm gonna do is bring up the um, uh, Arduino interface, and then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go to Sketch, include libraries, and add zip library. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate to that location. And I clicked on the network. It doesn't much matter, I guess. So I'm going to navigate to that location and then Garble 9. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the expanded subdirectory. I'm going to go down until I find the Garble directory. And then I'm just going to select the Garble directory as I have here. And then I'm just going to click open. And then now if I go back to sketches, include library, you'll see down here at the bottom. If I get it to stay open, I now have Garble. So I'm going to load that library. And then for grins and giggles, what I'm going to do is just do a quick compile on it since we've uh, made changes to it. And it's going to want to save a uh, scratch file, so just go ahead and give it a location. I typically create a delete me file for all those so I remember to delete them in the future. So everything compiles just nice, so uh, we didn't screw up when we added the config H. So let's now upload this to our Arduino. This will take a second or two to upload since we've already compiled it. And so this is now uploading. And then what we're going to do is now that we finished uploading, we're going to bring up SourceRabbit. Now this is a cool little um, uh, G-code sender, uh, really aimed at garble. So uh, I'm going to probably do an episode on this alone in the near future. But for right now, we're we're going to connect to the garble controller and so now we're connected and um, let's do the double dollar sign and here we go so we're now spot on we've installed garble and it's uh, working now one of the other things we're going to need to do so I want to point this out 
is um, especially here. So I've highlighted it, uh, dollar sign 100 and dollar sign 101. And for those that don't know, the, the double dollar sign list of commands are the setting commands for, for Garble that tell it how to work. And these are stored in the EEPROM. And so what we're going to do is we need to reset these. And to reset these, we simply enter, for example, dollar sign 100 equals, and now the x-axis is 39.5. 0.516 and we hit enter to, to save that and then we now change to dollar sign 101 equals 39.514 and then we hit enter to save that and then now let's do a double dollar sign to show it back out that the changes took place so, all right, these are now all set up. So we've now configured this board for the laser. So um, hopefully you found this interesting. And if you have questions, hit me up below. So uh, with the state of the board now, we can now hook it up to the machine and uh, to the CNC shield and start uh, actually some tests on the machine. Now, we're going to have to mess around a little bit with the laser firing on pin D12, as I mentioned. Uh, because the pin, I believe, fires on low and setting it to high um, activates it. So we're going to have to do some inversion there. I'm going to have to do some experiments with that. So, But I'll cover that out in another video. In this video, I simply wanted to cover out how do you install Garble um, and how do you configure it in the settings. Now, one of the things when I wrap up this whole build process, I will document all the dollar sign settings for Garble and everything out on the DIY3D.com website. Uh, so you can go out there and you can just get the whole file rather than the bits and pieces because some of this is still a bit of experimentation from pieces I found on the internet and pieces that uh, I've kind of put together from measurement on my own. So uh, I also put the uh, source rabbit um, GitHub URL. It's a Java-based program, sort of like Universal G Code Sender. I'll put that also down below so you can get that and support these guys because I think it's pretty cool that they're doing this. Um, as it does seem to be part of a, a larger commercial effort, and, and I would even be tuned to paying a reasonable amount of money for a good G Code Sender that somebody's willing to stand behind and support because. Um, you know, Universal G Code Center just sometimes seems to get pretty long in the tooth and have some issues. There was Garble Controller for a while, and then he stopped supporting it. And I think somebody else took it. But it would be really good to have just this really strong, stable uh, Garble Sender, if you will, or having a Garble UI. Um, on the front end. So anyways, I rambled enough about that. If you found this interesting, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, more coming. Click See you like next. below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.